I think nowadays your brand has to be very transparent. Gone are the days when we can just put it out there and expect people to believe it. And I think part of this uh, change has happened with the financial meltdown that we had some years ago when people started to see behind companies and that brands were not quite always what they said they were. So I think brand transparency these days means you've got to be out there and your top management have to understand that as well as every single one of your employees. They have to actually say and do it whatever they think they're supposed to be doing. Well, of course, social media gives us a very important connection with our brand and our consumers, something we've never had before. Uh, this is good and bad. You have to be prepared for the bads, just like in any relationship, but you hope you're going to have more of the goods. I think you have some people who are sometimes fed up with brands, and they just go on, pick low price, and go on from there. I think that's why it's even more important than nowadays when we think about our brands. We have to be authentic. We have to be honest. We have to be transparent and consistent. And if we're not doing that, frankly, unfortunately, we deserve what we get, which would be not very much at all. Several things I heard this morning that uh, I'm going to take home and think about. I think one of them is you, you, you start things, you try them out. If they work, wonderful. If not, you try them again. Uh, it takes a while to get some things working. If you're on Twitter, it doesn't necessarily mean you're going to get a return right away. Uh, there are difficulties in estimating the return we get on social media. I personally think you can estimate that, that return. But all of these things, I think, maybe become barriers and they shouldn't be. I think we have to move to a management system where you can make mistakes. And when you make mistakes, you learn and you move on.